Hey guys, Civil Lord here, back again with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Dungeons and Dragons Deluxe Creatures Owlbear. At least that's what I think it's called. I don't know. I have to double check my sources on the exact name of the subline, but rest assured, it's an owlbear from freaking Dungeons and Dragons, and I only paid $10 for it. That said, of course, it's brought to us by the fine folks over at Hasbro, as well as the local friend who shall not be named for privacy reasons, who was nice enough to grab me one of these big chunky monkeys from my local Ollie's for again ten dollars, which you can't beat it for a creature like this. Shut the front door. That is awesome. So, with that being said, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, why don't we cut right to the chase and get into the meat and taters of this review and take a look see at all the owl bear has to offer in terms of accessories because he does have a couple couple kind of grip hands here so you can uh, ask him how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop so he can eat the whole thing and piss you off because he never actually answered your goddamn question douche um, that said that's all he comes with he doesn't come with an alt head with a closed beak or anything like that didn't really expect him to but it would have been nice if maybe the beak was articulated but it is not that said this thing thing not only can it be on all fours but you can actually straight up straighten it out like so I will say the joints are nice and tight on this but they don't feel like whatever gonna give you a workout though I'm just gonna tell you that right now this figure is a hundred percent gonna give you a workout there you go there we go there that works um straighten out the torso gotta pop the neck down so we'll lose a little bit of height but that's okay arms take the other arm and there he is standing up looking absolutely mossy he's a little tricky to stand he's a little limited in the footsies there but he, uh, it, it is doable but you're gonna have to fidget with it a little teeny bit. There. So I'll lean him back here and we'll do a little bit of a premature size comparison. That's what I like to call it. So tilt him that way a little bit. Balance him a little better. Here he is. Side destroyer. Marvel Legends. Fall forward on me here. I'm gonna pan the camera up so you can see just how big this thing is. And uh, while Destroyer is taller, the Owl Bear is a freaking chungus, like I said. And for ten bucks, you cannot beat it. I don't care who you are. So getting him out of here before he gets the shit knocked out of him. Uh, the one thing you do want to do though is swap the hands out. So I'm gonna do that off cam quick. Bring the arms down pretty close to his sides, all things considered. And if you're wondering, yes, you can do the iconic kind of Iron Man hero pose with this guy. It takes a little finagling, but it can be done. I will also say that the quality of this owl bear is so much better than that of the cartoon figures that Hasbro did. Those things were shit and broke. I saw way too many people breaking those. 
for me to even want to waste my time with them even if they were on clearance so I didn't bother that said I did have the uh, I still have it uh, the Dritz with the black p -p -p panther Guenvir I do have the NECA water duke so this guy will be going with those um, maybe I'll be expanding upon my D&D &D collection in the future but for now I'm okay with just a few pieces I got I mostly just want to get more of the NECA stuff. I really like that stuff, but they never have it around here. And, uh, you know, to order it on BBTS, it's just like, I'm going to have the money for that. So, as far as this guy goes, you can see his big owl head there. He's got some horns. Now, there are two versions of this guy. There's this one. This is the brown. We'll call it the classic version. And then there's also the white version from the movie. If you got that, you can make some kind of weird winged Yeti custom out of it, I'm sure. But uh, as far as articulation on this thing goes, he's got a double ball pig in the head, so his head will rotate. It'll look side to side, it'll look up and down. His neck will rotate and hinge back and forth pretty easily. And it's supposed to sit on here a certain way. I'd advise popping this assembly off to put the torso halves on because you have to do that yourself. Uh, when you open him, the front and back of his torso are detached. You just got to kind of snap them in. They are keyed, so they will only go one way, but if you take the neck off, um, it's just a swivel, so it just pops right off, and then you pop it back on when you're done, and bada bing, bada boom, here's your owl bear, complete a mundo. So, as far as the shoulders go, he does have a rotation. He does have a rotation there. This little fur piece is like a pauldron. So it does move with the arm. And then as far as going out, he can go pretty far out. Like that far. And then he also has a butterfly, so you could swing it forward and back. This was uh, not stuck on mine, thankfully. It is a fairly large joint, so I didn't really expect it to be. But there you go. And then as far as the elbows go, he does have a single joint there with rotation. Again, a very solid figure. It's got some give to it. And then the joints are nice and tight for the most part. And uh, also don't feel like super fragile. They do have some give though. Um, he does have uh, rotation in the wrist with a hinge. And as far as the torso goes, if I can pop the other arm up here, uh, you can crunch this far forward, this far back, not very far back, and then you can rotate all the way around. Full 360. You can do it the other way too. I did work this loose before I put the torso abs on, so food for thought there said he does also have a tilt my nail caught on the seam there but uh, he does have some tilt and of course as far as the legs go they will kick forward they will kick out pretty far they do kick back a little bit he does have a little bit of a thigh quiver in there I will say this leg is a little tighter than the other one but that's neither here nor there he's not hard to stand and then he does have a swivel in the knee is it this knee that was looser? Yeah, this knee's a little looser. And then he has a single jointed knee. And you can fully straighten out or bend back however you see fit. I will say this knee I might need to heat up a little bit. It is very tight. And then he does have a rocker in the foot with a hinge, but the feet are very limited on this guy. You can bend him forward can't bend him back very far so the ankles are pretty limited on him if anything I think you're supposed to have the knees bent one notch not fully straighten them out to get him to stand upright with his toes flat on the floor Which is understandable, because he's got a lot of upper body weight. Like, this thing is not a light piece of plastic. This thing is so much plastic, as the Todd Father would say. So, 
There you go. There is the owl bear in a nutshell. Probably posed a little odd because he's looking up. I think he's supposed to maybe have a forward lean to him, but you got to fidget with it to get it there. And I'm sure some people will use this with their mythic legions. I wouldn't doubt it, especially if they get it for what I paid. But uh, there's some other creatures in this line, too, that I wouldn't mind checking out, but uh, this would knock over Destroyer off camera. Here. But uh, I'm kind of not interested in getting anything from the movie. I like the movie, but uh, this was the one I wanted, and I got it, and I'm happy with it. So before I wrap this thing up, in the Mythic Legions, Brother Mendebeleth, speaking of which. And the infamous Incur Elevid Spawn. It was not towering over everyone today because just look at this dang thing. Holy shit! So, with that being said, it's time now that we move right along and wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and of course, this is worth the price I paid for it. $10 for this big effing chungus right here. Yeah, definitely 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 worth it however the more important question is was it worth the original retail price of i think it was 30 dollars right i would say absolute this is a build a figure in a box you know we get marvel legends for 30 dollars that don't have this much plastic in it it's so much plastic as the todd father says so of course i'm gonna say that the fine folks over at hospro definitely 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 outdid themselves with this release it is one of the most fun things I've messed with from them in quite some time. This is up there with some of the better Power Rangers Lightning Collection monsters for me. And just some of the better Marvel Legends releases that have this type of build going for it. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.